morning everybody it's Ash from Monkey Mess here I just wanted to take a quick second to do an unboxing with you guys that I'm really excited about I ordered the mystery stitch kit shark attack from Forbidden Fiber Co and yes I'm going to be a disembodied head uh, hand today as I'm hiding off to the side uh, but yeah I just wanted to take a second to share this with you guys because I'm super excited about it I love the movie so here is the little bag that came with it and it's got a super cute little shark um, zipper pull there super cute and then here is the pattern is that not the cutest we're definitely going to need a bigger boat so excited so the only one thing I've really noticed about this that I'm a little bit surprised about is the um, I don't know if it just didn't photograph well or what but the fabric on this looks like it's a little bit more yellowy than blue like like a stormy sky whereas the fabric that they sent is gorgeous don't get me wrong I love it it is um, wing commander and it's I got the 8 and I got the 18 count so it looks like a gorgeous sunny day like it's beautiful fabric and I just absolutely adore it oh there's a huge shadow on like does that make it better that's still Sorry guys, there's still going to be a shadow just because of the lights coming in my window this morning. But yeah, so that's the gorgeous fabric and there's the information for it if you guys need it. And then it came with some gorgeous colors. Um, we have, let's see here. We have three skeins of obsidian. Obviously for the big giant shark mouth. And then we have Pacific. And Big Apple and Blue Cedar and these are my two favorite colors in the whole thing Mediterranean it's a gorgeous blue and pineapple and then it came with a cute little scuba diver I don't know if you can if I get close enough you can see it scuba diver needle minder so yeah that's everything that came in the, the box or the bag sorry reaching and yeah so i got it from ruben fabrico like i said and it's called the shark attack mystery cross stitch and um since i'm in canada i have to pay a little bit more shipping which is fine um but for total for the whole thing it was 88.34 so if you're up in Canada, that's what this kit is going to run you. Um, I absolutely love it, and I'm really excited to start it. I've actually had it for almost a week now, and I've just been busy and haven't been able to do a little unboxing, so I'm probably honestly going to start it today, because I've been waiting with bated breath to get going on it. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. Here, let me pull these colors up a little closer for you so you can get a better look at them. They're just such rich, gorgeous colors. I absolutely love their colors. They're always so well dyed and they're just, they're just beautiful. I really like them. So there's that. So I'm super excited to get this started. Like I said, like I need to start another project, but um, stitch all the things, right? Um, I'm probably going to start it later. And there's another, let me see if I can get it closer here. A closer look at what the actual pattern looks like. You're definitely going to need a bigger boat. Mm-hmm. For sure. So I'm just going to put that all back in here quick. And then I also, um, I'll talk more about the new stitching um, group I've kind of joined up with in my floss too, which I'll hopefully get done maybe tomorrow. Oh, I missed a color. My bad. Vanilla Blossom. I was wondering, like, where's the teeth? But there it is. Vanilla Blossom. Um... But there is a girl who posted in the stitching group that I'm in now that sells needle minders. And I couldn't help myself. So her business is Otter Rose. And she has the cutest little business cards with otters on them here. Um, so here is her information before I show you all her beautiful things. And I'll put all this information in the 
description box just in case it's blurry. I can't really tell because of the angle I'm filming at. I can't really see what I'm filming. So hopefully everything's in the center and you guys can see everything. We will see when I watch it back. So I got, oops, wrong way, Sailor Moon and a fancy Jessica Rabbit. She's just ready to go. Daddy as she is. And then I got Bulbasaur because he is the one and only best starter Pokemon. I will fight you for it. The other half, nobody else has anything on Bulbasaur. He is just the best. And then I got Alice. Oops, wrong way. Alice in a teacup, Chewbacca, and a little sushi stack. It's funny, I was joking around with um, the owner of the small business. So I was like, I feel like you know way too much about me based on these Nino Meyer choices. Like, I feel like this just gives you too much about my personality. But yeah, so here's her card. And she is in, she's Canadian, which I absolutely love because I'm trying to support more Canadian businesses. Um, where is she? I want to say Manitoba, but I also feel like that's wrong. So she's out here somewhere. So that's good. So shipping was super fast. We got to you really quickly. Like I said, I've had all of these for a little while now, but I just haven't had a chance. She is actually in Manitoba. Helps if I look at the... The letter it came in so yeah so she's from manitoba excuse the arm as i reach and then i also um couldn't resist myself for the long weekend sale for heaven and earth designs so i got this beauty isn't she gorgeous she's a big one but i feel like she's worth it i'll probably try to do on a small count and then do tent just for you know speed and I don't really notice that big of a difference in detail between tent and full cross honestly there's that one and then I also couldn't resist this one she's so gorgeous and I got the one with no background so I'll just make I'll hand dye some fabric or I'll buy some fabric to match kind of the background but then I don't have to stitch all the just like plain background which I find is what's what is causing me all the issues on my hands is I get stuck in background and I'm there forever, and I just want to stitch the good stuff in the middle. But I know if I stitch the good stuff in the middle first, I'll never get the edges done. So, maybe this way, I can start in the middle and still get it all done. Oops, as I drop it, it goes flying to the table. Okay, so there's those two, and then this one is the one I'm absolutely stoked about. So, I met Kaylee um, from the Sewing Shop, Inc. at Stitch North, and she's just a wonderful human. And she has a floss tube, and I believe it's Kaylee Ten Stitch, I believe, if I remember correctly. And I had to get this one from her because it's just like perfect. It is literally perfection. And I'm probably actually going to Lens Mill today to buy the fabric to start this one because I've had it for, like I said, almost a week now. And uh, yeah, it's been too long. She needs to be started. She's absolutely gorgeous. And I think I'm probably gonna do her, like I said, on a higher count tent. Um, just because I don't really notice the difference, honestly. And she's just beautiful, and I want her up on my wall, like yesterday. But it's probably gonna be, it's be like, it'll be a while. It's a big stitch. How many stitches are in? It is, yeah, it's 400 by three, three on 98. So she's a big girl. But I think she'll totally be worth it. I was super excited because Kaylee actually ordered um, a Lilo and Stitch scrunchie for me and I had been eyeing this pattern for a while. So I was like, oh, well, you know, she's supporting me. Oh, not that I need an excuse, but here's a perfect excuse. Let's just share some Canadian support between two small businesses. And yeah, I just, I can't wait to start this. It's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, make sure you go check out her shop. She's got great bags as well. Um, I love how she does her vinyl front bags and like her bags are just structured so nicely. Like they're like, I don't, I don't know how to explain them, but I was looking at them at Stitch North and they're gorgeous. Um, unfortunately I just don't buy bags cause I make bags, but anyways, um, yeah, her stuff is gorgeous. Her patterns are beautiful and yeah, go check her out. Um, yeah, 
But anyway, that's enough rambling for me for now. Um, hopefully I will be back next couple days maybe with a floss tube update because I have got lots done since I had a stitching weekend. Um, but anyways, yep, see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe and like and all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye.